Yes, Mr. Tartaglione. Good evening. Um, before I start my presentation tonight, I'd like to make a suggestion. It's uh, 10 o'clock at night, and residents to be heard section is, always comes up at, towards the end of the meeting. And I, I can understand why you'd want me at the end of the meeting. Um, but my suggestion to the council would be, maybe in the beginning of the meeting, we could have uh, residents to be heard for the seniors. Because I know there's a lot of seniors that would like to speak, but they don't come because the residents to be heard section is so late. Yeah. My offer still stands. Uh, if there's a resident that is coming that has, a, has a, another requirement that wants me to move them up the agenda, just notify me in advance or signal me and I'll, I'll pull your, your matter up. Thank you. That still stands. That's always been the policy. That's great. I, I never realized that. I'm oh, sorry. yeah. Absolutely. Um, my presentation tonight, Mr. French, and I know this is a little uncomfortable situation for everybody, but I'd like to speak about the, uh, the, the legal building that you're home again. What is the matter before the council, sir? Well, I'm going to, I'm going to, sir, nope. I'd like to make a presentation, and then no, at the, and the, at the end of my presentation, I will give you the matter before no, the council. No, we need the matter right now. No, I, I, I make my presentation, no, and then this is not... As, this is as a any presentation, the at the end council. of the presentation, at the end of the presentation, no. there's a call for action, and no. I will, you no. will give okay. my call for action. This is a action. business meeting of the Rice City Council. Yes, and I'm. What and is I'm, the matter that you want to talk to the council about? The matter that I'd like to talk to the council about <clears throat> is illegal building that well, you did. Well, he's the chief enforcement officer. Make a meeting with him or the building department. Well, I'd take I'd a like, complaint to them. I would like the city council to see the affidavits that I brought this evening because you just denied that you did any illegal building. I'd like to present it to them. And then I'd but like them, this is I'd not like the them to make that. It, well, it is. It is, it is no sir. Right. Right. No, it's not. It, council, sir. since it's, no. since it's directed at me, is there a consensus on the council to deal with this I, now? Mr. Friend, not. No, no, no talk to the council, I have, sir. I have five minutes to no, speak. No, you don't. Uh, this uh, is our business meeting on the so, Rice City so Council. Because, so because I, I want to speak against you, no. you no. won't let me it, speak. No. Is that correct? What's the issue you want the council to address? When Mr. Schubert wanted to speak, the way you silenced him was you called the psychiatric unit. No, stop. And See, then, this is not then, personal And then when he, he still wanted to speak, then you had him arrested. No. No. You know what, sir? So oh, now are you, are you going to call the police and have me We're arrested? Oh, moving on. Any of other residents that would like to speak on matters for the city council? Mr. French, are you going to call the police and have me arrested uh, and not allow me to speak? Well, but let me just, just uh, explain, if I can, Mr. Cataglia, about this. I, this, is, this applies to any property owner in the city of Rye. Um, the enforcement is all through the city manager. And we have a city manager form of government in which most specifically the council is forbidden to get involved with enforcement matters. And this was done for very sensible reasons, which is I have a friend, you have a friend, gee, I'd like the police to look into this, that, one thing, another, and so on and so forth. And so we are not allowed to directly communicate with department heads other than through the city manager. Uh, because of the fact that we do have a city manager for government. So we, as a council, are not to hear enforcement complaints. That goes to the city so, manager. So and the reason is, for the very reason that you're suggesting, which is whether or not there might be bias of one form or another related to the council. So that's why we're not in this business, constitutionally. If you look at the city charter, you'll see why they set up a city manager for government. Yes specifically so the council members wouldn't be, as okay. I say, grinding their own particular little okay. issue and trying to get DPW okay. to do what they would like and so on and so forth. So that's the constitutional okay. reason okay. I understand. why we're not ever going to be in the enforcement business. That if some resident has a serious complaint about his nature, neighbor, okay. he's your guy. Okay. He's so like that's, uh, so the mayor's is right in saying that you need to get an appointment, and I'm sure the city manager would be willing to do this uh, to uh, discuss this. So, but we're not. In, this is not. We're not in this business. Thank you, Mr. Chavez. Okay. Man, to respond to you, <clears throat> I'm not asking the city council to do any enforcement. I want to make my presentation to the city council, and I want to explain to the city council how the city manager is not doing his job. <laughs> what I want to do is I want him to investigate him. And I'd like to make my presentation to explain to you why he is not 
investigating him when he should. Now, you're his boss. This council is all his boss. At the end of my presentation, I'd like to ask each one of you what you feel should be done. I've already given you my answer. And I'm, and I'm not asking for enforcement. I want to know if you think he's not doing his job. And at the end of my presentation, if you say he's doing his job, he should stay, he don't have to enforce the law, that's fine. But I'd like to make my presentation. No, sir, so I'll tell you what. You take your complaint to the, and through the proper course, like every other resident, and he will enforce the law. I, I, brought, I brought my complaint. I brought my complaint to the city. I gave it to Mr. Pickup. Mm -hmm. Has anything been done about the illegal building? You, you could follow up with Scott. You at, said, at you said to me that you didn't do it. Now, I have a letter that, here from a title company that says that you were issued a violation on your home. I have, a, this I have is an not affidavit form, here, and I'm sir. hoping that the camera's watching on this affidavit, right. that says that you built without a permit, and you were charged with that. It says offense. And it says on 7-1-2011. And, 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 and we've had this conversation, so I think let's, let's not play the cameras. Sir, let's I'm, have I'm, a conversation. I'm addressing, I'm addressing no, Mr. Tag, 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 no, I'm no, going to explain to you on, a, sir. a piece of piece information because you're not telling the truth. truth. And at least you can sit here and tell the truth. Well, maybe. Or maybe it's your version of the truth, okay. which sometimes is a little different than other versions. So let's be honest about this, Mr. Taglione. That is a phone call recording. That, which I've told you, by the way. You've told me? Yes. We've never had a conversation Absolutely about this. we have. So the stop. only conversation we've ever had was here, this day. You know what, we're moving that on. That is a phone yeah. conversation. Is, I'd be more than happy to sit down and talk to you about enforcement action, so, Mr. Tartaglia. So Tartag let me ask you a question. This, this is the business this meeting of the Rossi Council. Maybe, maybe you're no. right, and I'm wrong. Hold on, hold on. No, you hold on. Please, sir, sit down. This is the business meeting of the City Council. Sit down. Yes, I'm telling you to sit down. Who else, any other residents that would like to be heard? Yes, come off, please. That this violation says V000758 is for a phone call complaint, correct? Is that what you're telling me? We got Scott, a, we got a, I'd be more me, than happy to explain can, that to you, you again, Mr. Tartaglia. Can you tell me how many phone call complaints I have on Hen Island? Can you give me the numbers that I have on my complaints on Hen Island? Mr. Tartaglia, I'd be more than happy to sit down and discuss with you, as we have in the past multiple levels of all of your complaints about multiple items. I'd be more than happy to do that. We're here to do the city's business. So, okay, it's I'm not, this is not the, the no, it's not. It's it's not. It's it's accusations that you're making that are false. You renovated a complete house. You're, you're wrong in your accusations. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Next people. would you Next. like to come up and speak or not? Or we'll just go to another agenda item. Do you want to come up and speak? This is no. Here's what we I, have a resident who would like to no. hear. Here's a brand new kitchen. There's no building permits on your house. There's no reason. Here's a brand new kitchen. Here's a brand you're, new bathroom. You, you're wrong I about that, sir. Oh, can you show me the, the what? Permits? Take it to the enforcement officer. You're wrong. If every so, accusation you're making is false. Well, I didn't make this accusation. Home I Depot have, cabinets. I have a violation here. Home Depot cabinets no. that I threw in back in 1995 no. is not a violation, sir. I'm sorry. Never mind. Take it up Never with the, take it up with the city. Moving along. I have, I have along. an idea from West Coast Title that mm -hmm. says that you have a violation that your house can't be sold in its present condition because you have a CO for a two-family house and you have a one-family home. Yes, we've explained that. Explain no, don't I, don't I, I bother. Don't, don't bother. Just it is zoned as two-family, but it was renovated to a single family when I bought the house. You called the woman in Georgia, the, sir. You had somebody call the re former resident in Georgia to check that out. She's not in Georgia. She's in the life saving building. No, that's her daughter. See, you, you, you've got it all wrong, sir. Please sit down. Any other residents? No. Let's go. We're moving on. This is not a forum for accusations. This is the city business that's important to the residents of Rye. They're not accusations, sir. Yes, they are. These are facts, and if you could tell me different, I'll be glad to retract all no, my stations. You, no, you come up with the right facts to the right channel, which is the enforcement officer. Thank you, sir. Thank you.